Trek Star Sam. I am back and I have some more videos for you. Um, it's been a while. I know recently I updated my trip to Colombia. I just went to Colombia recently. Well, not really recently. I was back in January and um, then after that I went to Mexico in March and I'm going to be posting some footage from Mexico. But um, I haven't been doing a lot of traveling lately so I've been taking a break and I kind of wanted to see where I want this uh, channel to go when I'm not traveling. So I've decided after much thought and consideration that I'm gonna start doing um, a series of travel hacks and how to's and things like that, travel related things even when I'm not traveling. Um, I will be traveling again soon. At the end of May, I'm gonna be traveling to um, the UK again. I'm gonna go back to Poland briefly. I'm going to also be going to the Republic of Georgia. I'm super excited, I've been wanting to go for years. And also I'm gonna to try to see if I can get to Armenia as well. It's very close to the Republic of Georgia. I think the bus takes like four hours. So I'm looking forward to going to at least those four. And of course I wanna to go to my usual go-tos like Turkey and etc. cetera. Um, I usually like to go to Turkey, you know, at least once a year. Um, they're all typically in the same area. So um, they're not hard to get to if you're in that area. So yes, um, and so that's my travel plans for um, the next couple of months. Um, I'm not gonna spend a long time away though. I'm only gonna be gone until around the 19th of August and I'm gonna be returning home to San Francisco is where I'm filming from today, from my glorious kitchen. Um, there's really not that much glorious about it, but I love it. Um, it's very rustic, it's my grandmother's kitchen and so um, I really kind of keep it um, the same way mainly because of her. I love to, you know, her old furniture and I just try to touch it, you know, as little as I can in order to keep the kind of rustic feel of my grandmother. So today guys, I think we should talk a little bit about money, specifically how to manage it when you go abroad. Cause as you know, you know, if you go to Europe, if you go to uh, many other countries near Europe, if you go to Africa, if you go to many different places, you know, we don't all use one currency. Even in Europe, um, for example, there are many, many different currencies and it's so hard to keep them all straight. Um, this is how I used to carry like all my currencies with me everywhere. There's at least like four different currencies in here, four to five probably, mostly. We're gonna look at some of them today. But I really don't recommend carrying your um, money in a bag like this because Every time I would go through security, like at the airport, I would always get pulled over because this huge thing was in the, you know, was in my bag and I would forget to take it out and nobody could see what's in here. So the, the, um, the, um, you know, the cameras that they look through, the TSA agents look through, just can see that there's a lot of metal in here. And so they always would pull my bag to the side to check it and they would always check this bag. And you know, it happened a couple of times and it was such a pain and it was really kind of annoying always getting pulled over for this bag. So from now on, I'm never gonna uh, take money in something like this again. Yes, it's cute, it's compact and everything, but there are better ways to carry and store your currency and we're gonna be talking about that today. Another reason I don't recommend in carrying your money in something like this is because you know, all of the currencies jumbled together you know, like I said, I have like five to six different currencies in here. And of course, if I'm in one country, it would take me forever to fish out each currency, um, you know, to be able to use it and, and put the right currency into my wallet. So there has got to be a better way to store the money. And it is. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be sorting through this thing. I'm going to be seeing what's in here and seeing what I'm going to take with me um, back abroad to the countries that I just told you I was going to. Of course, I've never been to the Republic of Georgia or Armenia, so I don't have any of those currencies. But I do have Polish Loti, Turkish Lira, and probably some Euros and Pounds in here too. So that's what we're gonna be fishing for today. So basically, what I recommend that you do is when you ha uh, store your money is like you put each currency in like a little sandwich bag here, especially if you have a lot of coins, a sealable sandwich bag. And then after you do that, you can put those sealable sandwich bags with money into one big clear um, bag like this. I think I got it, it's called, it says Crazy Lady. It's one of these clothing bags that I got with some, I think one of my swimsuits came in here, but I saved the bag. So, and I like it because it's big enough, you can just reach down in your bag and you can grab it and it's clear so people can see 
immediately that there's money inside and that's not like this thing that you can't really see through. So what you can do is when you're um, getting ready to go through security, you can just pull this bag out and just put it on the, um, just put it in the basket right away. So they'll be able to see, oh yeah, she's just carrying a bunch of currency and there's nothing that we need to be concerned about or anything like that. So definitely a good idea. Plus it makes it very convenient, you know, these clothes up, you know, so the money won't get out. And then when you get ready to put it in your wallet, you can just take whatever currency that you're looking for, for that country. And then you can just take it out and put it in your wallet. And the currency that's currently in your wallet, you can take it out and fill it in one, another sandwich bag. So you can kind of keep it straight. Definitely. Okay. So now I'm going to sort through this so we can see what I have in here. So what I'm going to be taking with me. Oh my gosh, let's see what's in here. I feel like I'm opening Pandora's box. Oh, wow. I have all these bills in here. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I have some Russian rubles. I did go to Russia last year um, before everything over there started happening. I went to Russia last year. I probably will not be using these for a while as I'd have no intention to go back to Russia anytime in the near future. So I'm gonna set them aside. I have quite a few Turkish lira here. I've got um, a good amount of Turkish lira, which I'm gonna need. I have a few um, Ukrainian um, currency. I forgot exactly the name of their currency. If anybody knows the name of the Ukrainian currency, just um, put it down in the comments. I completely forgot it. Um, and so I will not be using this either as you know, there's a war on in Ukraine, but I was able to go there last year um, to go to Chernobyl and Kiev and some other places as well. So that was, um, so I've definitely used it over there. I have more Russian money. And I believe this is, um, this is Russian as well, so. Okay, I have a few Romanian Liu. I have really no plans to go back to Romania this year, unfortunately, so I won't be needing that. And then I have, yes, some more Romanian money. And I have some 500 Hungarian forints, which I will not be needing either. I may take this one with me just in case I pop by Hungary later, but I really don't have any intentions to. But you never know. Um, sometimes when I'm in Europe, I just, you know, spontaneously pop over to other countries and see friends and things like that. So I'm going to put that over there. And now I have all the change. This is all change. And this is really kind of annoying. Um, let me see. Oh my gosh, I have so many Turkish lira here. did oh my goodness this is the Turkish lira section and as you see I don't think I'm going to need to really um, take out a lot of money once I arrive I have quite a few bills as you can see I have 200 and let's see up to 20 so it's 20 30 40 45. So 245 Turkish lira in bills. I love tur the Turkish money. I love how colorful it is. And all of these coins, which are incredible. Like, I think I probably have, I don't know, at least 30 um, lira worth of coins alone. This one here is like a one lira coin. All of them have the face of um, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk who um, was um, the leader, former leader of Turkey for a while, then Turkish people really respect him and all of their money has him on the back and the front. And he has a whole bunch. It's gonna really annoy me having to carry this all and just having to keep carrying it with me while I'm in Poland and some other places. And I can't even use it until I actually get back to Turkey, but it's a drag, it is what it is. All right, well, so now I'm on to the Polish section. So this is the Polish money. These are called, um, well, the first one, this $1 one is like a one złoty one. You can't really see it. This is kind of a dirty one. I'll get a better one for you. Um, it's one złoty. And anything under a złoty is called grosz. So this is 50 grosz. You can kind of see it. 
I did okay. I mean, this won't get me that far, but I do intend on spending all of this when I get back to uh, Poland. I'll be there for three weeks, so I definitely should be able to get rid of all of this, definitely for sure. I think in the UK money department, I did the worst. I only have one pound that's in 220 pences. So I have a feeling as soon as I get to London, I will have to take some money out to put on my Oyster card. And I did slightly better in the Euro department. So I have about maybe, I don't know, maybe like a little bit over a one, um, one Euro here in coins. So definitely if I go to any Euro countries this year, which I'm not necessarily planning for, but I may pop over to Germany again at some point. But I'm just gonna take them. I'm just gonna put the um, the Euro coins together with the UK coins as, you know, there's so few of them that I can easily fish them out. So yeah, so here's the all the entire pile, plus the bills, is uh, the ones I got extra from Ukraine, Russia, Romania, and et cetera that I will not be taking with me. So this please, time. please, please, please don't be like me uh, when it comes to this money. Um, <laughs> it's like, you know, just carrying this around is a pain. It makes your bags much bigger and things like that. So here's some tips on what to do with your money uh, when you have different currencies, which is definitely what I'm going to be trying to do. Um, and while I'm telling you, I'm just going to bag this, uh, these currencies up. Um, as I said, I'm going to put my pounds and my euros in the same bag. Since I have so few of them, they'll be very easy to separate again. So it'll be really convenient. But definitely, I really, really don't recommend anyone getting into this type of situation. Definitely, um, if, you go to, if you know that you have lots of money left or, and that you um, are going to be leaving a country soon, do your best not to take it home. Try to do something with it. Try to spend it all. And I know it's a pain having to count through coins. But if you have, like, your coins in Ziploc bags like this, you know, when you're at the store, you can just, like, pull it out and then fish through and pay them an exact change. You definitely should try to keep a currency within a country because, to be honest, like, what good is it really going to do for you outside of, um, you know, the country that you're in, especially the coins. Like, um, most people would take, like, the uh, Turkish lira bills, but they would not accept any of the coins. A lot, not, um, not a lot of exchange places do. Maybe the ones inside the country do because they're trying to keep the money inside the country. But typically with small change, most banks and whatnot, they don't want to deal with it. So my suggestion is to try to spend it. It's a, it's a pain having to count it out, like I said, but at the same time, um, it, it's much easier to just get rid of it than, than just to... Um, Take it with you because it does take up a lot of extra space in your bag and weight which is very important for some people who would like to pack light and if you can't spend it donate it like i now have, i'm going to be looking for charities i have a charity in poland now a women's charity in warsaw women that are escaping domestic violence or something like that and i found a really good one in warsaw and i'm going to be donating all of my um zloty and grosh to them after I um, uh, get back there. If I have to leave Poland again, I'm not taking anything with me. Sometimes you can find uh, different charities at, um, sometimes the grocery stores, they have these little boxes that you can just donate uh, currency or thing, or money that you wanna get rid of in their boxes and they, they use it for some charitable um, organization. I saw some of these in Serbia, but since I couldn't read Serbian, I didn't really know what I was donating to, so therefore I didn't. That's why it's important to try to find a donation center that you can, um, that you can, you know, not only just give like clothes that you may not want to take home, but also money as well. Um, most of them are just happy to get any donation that they can. They don't mind if it's in coins. They can always take it to the bank and, you know, worry about it. Um, they're just happy to have it. Um, so it's really good because you can't use it anyway. So it's good that you can give it away. Or, of course, if you like, you can give it to a friend or maybe someone that you need over there that could be in need. Maybe you can find a, a homeless or less fortunate person and give it to them. Just try not to take it with you. I can kind of understand, like, if you have a lot of it, you know, um, I could have taken, probably taken these, these Lyra to the bank since I have so many um, and just had them changed into bills, but I didn't think to do that, so... Here I go. I gotta take all of these back to Turkey with me, which is gonna be a pain. But yeah, but I'm I'm not never gonna get in this situation again. All of this will be spent, 
and it's not going to be spent. It's going to be donated. So, yes. Okay, we are nearly at the end of packing all of this away. I'm so happy I didn't drop anything on the floor, at least not yet. Um, and we're about done. And I'll also pop the bills in here as well. When I get to Turkey, I'll put them in my wallet, but I'm just going to pop them right on the top here. This is so heavy, you guys. Please don't get into this situation. I'm zipping them up. And now I'm putting them all into my bigger bag here that I will be able to take out of the, at the uh, airport and show them, okay, yeah, this is just currency. It's nothing, um, it's nothing dangerous or anything. Let me flatten this down here. Get the air out. So it all goes in here. And then this will go into my carry-on bag. And how nice and convenient this is. Look, it's uh, very flat. You can get the air, more air out of it if you like. You know, anybody who examines this, they can see that all you have is money. And it's very convenient. When you need to take them in your wallet, you just take it out, open your wallet, pour it directly in, or just keep it in the Ziploc bag. I mean, I really do recommend that as well, as sometimes, you know, you get um, change kind of gets lost in your wallet sometimes, or maybe it might slip out if you don't have a good one. But when you're in the grocery store, you can just reach in and get the rest, you know, if you have to pay like some um, cents along with the, the bills and you can just take out the exact amount and give it to them. Usually they're low on change in, um, in restaurants and grocery stores, so a lot of them would actually appreciate you giving it to them, for sure. So this is how I manage my money, or at least I'm going to start doing this in the future. When I go abroad, um, feel free to um, get, jump into my comments and tell me what you think. Do you think this way is a good way? Do you think it's a very convenient way? Do you have better ways of dealing with currency when, uh, when you travel? Um, how do you keep it separated? Um, yeah, so just leave me a comment. Tell me exactly what you like to do to keep your money managed when you go abroad. And I guess I will be seeing you soon in another video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe if you like my content. And stay tuned for many more travel videos. I will be starting my regular uploads again very soon, especially when I go abroad. There's going to be so many wonderful things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going to a wedding in Poland, uh, my friend Deidre is getting married um, in Warsaw, so it's gonna be really, really great, and I cannot wait to film part of that. So, um, you know, you can see what Polish weddings are like, so it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of things, and, I'm, and I hope to have you along every step of the way, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and come back soon, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!